Hello, it's uh, Varun again. In this uh, setup, we already have installed the demo data. Next, uh, please we are going to work on the customizer options and we are going to divide it to simple part like first is the branding, second is the login and the admin login. First, uh, we are going for the general options. Inside the general option, you have option to disable the font also. Like uh, sometimes we have plugins like Elementor or some third party plugin which already load the element font awesome. So we can utilize this option to disable the font awesome library getting loaded uh, using theme. Second thing is a custom taxonomy. In using custom taxonomy, you can uh, pre configure your font, body font, um, site title, site tagline title. When you are not using logo, the site title and the site uh, tagline will going to display after that one we have header menus sub menu items but we have some displaying something like this one and um, heading the default format heading one heading two heading four heading five and next is the block code typography so you can uh, set a font family font variation font size text align text transformation and the little spacing for each digital item yourself Okay, the next is the layout option. By default, we uh, do not use site loader. It is in case when your site is little bit uh, bulky or you have a need a preloader, then that can be used. But ideally, uh, no one uses the site loader. Next is the style scroll up. Like uh, we have a functionality on a long page, like uh, so it is scroll up to jump on the home page on the top of the page again, and we have. Um, Next option is uh, site layout. Right now, uh, we have two options like full width and the box layout by default. Full width is uh, more widely used because uh, that will make the uh, site more responsive uh, for all the devices. Next is the sticky sidebar, like uh, the sidebar will stick there. For the default sidebar container, we are keeping that um, 1200 something. And you can also configure the sidebar width in percentage or pixel. Like uh, by default, I use 25%. Okay, and um, global border areas, like if you want to smooth them, all the border sections, then you can use a global border radius. And uh, by default, the global border radius is uh, 5 pixel. And for the buttons, what we are going to use, if you want to use a Five pixel that will be enough for the button border. Okay, next uh, thing is publish them. Okay, these things are more specific to the general layout, like the container size and how these buttons and the border will display. Uh, these are covered inside the general layout options. After that one, we have a page mapping option, like we can create a dedicated page for the site. A dedicated login page, register page, and 404 page. And uh, these are getting utilized when you are going to use uh, the button. I can show you, like right now I'm logged in. When I'm trying to navigate the website as a non login user, we have a login button. So, on which link this login button uh, sent to us, that is going to be decided from that interface. Okay, the next is the registration page. Right now, the the registration option is disabled from the backend. Okay, the registration option can be enabled from here. Like uh, once the registration option is going to be enabled, then uh, the register button will be available. Okay, by default, uh, BodyPress contains their own registration option. Now we can utilize this one. And for the login page, by default, it is going to utilize the WP login page, and uh, we are going to explain how we can polish it uh, step by step okay so we can also create a dedicated login page uh, for rain theme and then we can ma map it uh, using uh, here like uh, we are going to create a slash login and configure a login wizard using the elementor and then we can utilize it here okay by, by default the registration page is going to map on the slash register suppose that you have a gravity form or creating a membership site uh, member press or anything like that one so they create their own membership cho uh, choice option where you are going to list all the pricing option then you can utilize that uh, page mapping to 
map that registration button to that custom page for the 404 page we can create a branded 404 page and then map it here okay the next one is the sign up pop-up and uh, by default we can also enable the sign up pop-up uh, for both login and the registration options and we can explain that one in the next video it can be covered as a complete single video uh, the next one is the color scheme by default we are providing couple of color scheme inbuilt like uh, sunrise coffee and once you are going to configure then it is going to display like this one they are changing all the possible color options of the theme and you can also utilize them or you can start from this point like start making choices from this location and save changes then uh, the complete site color scheme will utilize the same options what you had configured here okay uh, so we have uh, three color schemes plus uh, there's a one more dark color scheme uh, with the theme so you can also run the site inside the dark color scheme and uh, we also have a dark mode options um, you can configure it later on okay the next one is the uh, like uh, we have done with the um, general setting and seen the taxonomy option color scheme option and one thing is um, left uh, which is related to the logo like uh, we can configure our logo from identity section site identity you can configure your logo put a site title site tagline and um, this is the more basic setting like uh, after this one we are going to check uh, what are the options for the pages blocks like that one in our next video thank you